Cancers are defined by hallmark histopathological and molecular heterogeneity in the tissue microenvironment, which contribute towards variability in treatment response rates and patient outcomes. Though AI has enabled enormous breakthroughs in automated cancer diagnosis, there has been limited progress in cancer prognosis and defining new prognostic biomarkers that would explain the variability in patient outcomes due to the following reasons. One, current clinical paradigms for cancer prognostication via grading and staging are subjective and qualitatively defined and suffer from large inter and intra-observer variability. In other words, patients with the same grade or stage will often have significant variability in outcomes. Two, cancer prognosis is a multimodal problem that is driven by markers in both histology and molecular data. However, commercially available prognostic assays such as ProSigna and Oncotype DX only incorporate genomics for cancer prognosis. The question that this study raises is, how can we develop methods for objective image omic biomarkers using conventional histology, which has been the diagnostic standard for a century, and genomics, which is becoming increasingly available at most cancer centers for cancer prognosis? To address these limitations, our team has built Porpoise, the pathology omic research platform for integrated survival estimation. Porpoise uses multimodal AI that learns to integrate histology and molecular features for objectively predicting and explaining patient prognosis and outcome, identifying explainable morphological and molecular features from these models that govern such prognosis is of interest and can lead to biomarker discovery. Using multimodal deep learning, the algorithm extracts features from both whole slide images and molecular data such as mutation, copy number variation, and bulk RNA sequencing, and fuses these features into a joint multimodal feature representation. In addition to being multimodal, Porpoise can also explain how histopathology and molecular features contribute towards high and low risk outcomes at both an individual patient level as well as a population level. Porpoise was trained and tested on over 5,000 patient samples across 14 cancer types in the Cancer Genome Atlas. In the results of our study, we first compared our multimodal AI with unimodal algorithms that use histology and molecular features alone. Across 14 cancer types, MMF achieved the highest C index on 12 out of 14 cancer types. 10 out of 14 demonstrated statistical significance on binary patient stratification, with substantial improvement in 5 out of 14 cancer types that were previously not significant using molecular features alone. For cancer types such as pancreatic adenocarcinoma, we observed that training unimodal models using either histology or molecular features alone had poor stratification of predicted low and high risk patient groups. However, following multimodal integration, we can observe more fine-grained stratification results. We are also able to investigate modality importance, how much histology and genomics were used in driving model predictions. We observed that morphologic features were more important for some tumor types than for others. On average, we observe whole slide images accounted for 16.8% of attributions. For multimodal interpretability, we used a combination of attention-based interpretability for whole slide imaging data and attribution-based interpretability for molecular data inputs, which we used to understand model predictions at both a local scale for individual patients and global scale for overall patterns of feature importance with each cancer type. Interpretability results for each cancer type are made available on the Porpoise Interactive Research Platform available at pancancer.mamoodlab.org. As an example, here we walk through the insights that porpoise can derive for one of the cancer types in this study, pancreatic adenocarcinoma. To study morphological feature importance, we used attention-based interpretability to find the most highly attended morphological regions used for prognosis followed by cell type identification and comparing cell type distributions in predicted low and high risk groups. As an example low and high risk patient, we observe that high attention in low risk patients 
correspond to stroma-contained dispersed glands and aggregates of lymphocytes, and high attention in high-risk patients correspond to tumor-associated and myxoid stroma. Across the entire study, we find a statistically significant increase in lymphocyte presence in low-risk patients and necrosis presence in high-risk patients. On the molecular side, we used attribution-based interpretability to discover important genes from which we find immune-related and prognostic markers such as IL-8 and MET. Lastly, we use the interpretability of porpoise as a mechanism to test the hypothesis that TIL presence is correlated with favorable cancer prognosis. In comparing TIL presence between low-risk and high-risk patients, we found that 9 out of 14 cancer types had a statistically significant increase in TIL presence amongst patients with predicted low risk, indicating that model attention was localized to more immune hot regions. This suggests that our trained models use morphological features for immune response as markers for predicting cancer prognosis and supports a growing body of evidence that TILs have a prognostic role in many cancer types. As granular molecular profiling, such as single cell and spatial transcriptomics, becomes more widely available and gains clinical penetrance, the multimodal integration approach could also be leveraged in more intuitive ways to further improve patient prognosis and discover multimodal prognostic markers.